Today, we are gonna have a taco making party for Gatsby and his friend Nico. We got some sprouted corn tortillas. This is a lot more dog friendly than other tortillas. Organic sprouted corn filtered water and sea salt and lime and that's it. Inside the microwave for about 30 seconds. Super lean ground beef for the doggies. Oh. Mmm. We'll slice up some bell peppers. Es muy delicioso. We got some organic low sodium black beans. Our dairy-free cheese, because some dogs are lactose intolerant. Tomatoes are dog-friendly as long as they are ripe. And of course, we're gonna make a barkerita. Last night, I made some chicken broth ice cubes. Mix that with some more chicken broth. We're just going to garnish it with a cucumber slice. Mmm. This looks so delicious. I'm so confused. I want to drink it. We got all of our taco recipe ingredients over here for corgis and other doggies. First, we're going to use... You guys are going to need to help me not be in the way. Okay, that's all I'm going to Cassie, stop it! So first, we get the tortilla over here. Let's do some ground beef. We have our chipotle containers here. We can make it in there. Black beans, tomatoes, bell peppers, Celery and some cheese. Oh. There you go. Okay, here it goes. Oh, yum. <laughs> How was your taco party? Shall we start the vlog? Morning, everybody, welcome to today. Let's get the day started. Gatsby, do you want to go to the aquarium store? To Neptune Aquatics. He's such a cutie. Doug Gatsby, thank you. 
Just made it back home, and now it's time to check out in the fish tank. If you remember in the last vlog, we just added four new fish to help the aquarium recover. More on that in the last vlog. Let's see how the fish are doing. The good news is all the fish are eating, they all get along. If you introduce them at the same time in the tank, which is what I did with lots of different fish, they usually tend to get along. As you can see, the sand bed is nice and white again. I did use Kemi Clean, which is the red slime treatment to get rid of all the red slime and everything looks to be back to normal. Oh, there he is. Oh, back inside. And that's your aquarium update. Quirky battle! It's time for us to announce a new product. Yes! First off, don't forget that we are still selling our 2018 calendars and they are 50% off. So if you want to grab one, now's a great time to get it. And now for our new product that we are going to be announcing today. Ta-da! Corgi on fleek greeting cards. We have three birthday cards. This one says, happy, happy, happy birthday. This one. Keeping it short and sweet. Happy birthday. This one. Wishing you a possum happy birthday. We also have a thank you card. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And we have a congratulations card. Congratulations. And I designed them all myself. You can buy them separately, or if you like, you can buy them as a card pack and it'll save a little bit of money. I would suggest getting the pack of cards. Then you'll have cards whenever you need for pretty much any occasion. A lot of you guys were asking for a birthday card from Gatsby and me, so we do have have that available as well. So make sure to check those out at the end of the vlog at corgionfleek.com. Awesome. And I just wanted to quickly thank these awesome fans for sporting and tagging me in their Corgi on Fleek merchandise. Woo! Make sure when you get your stuff to tag me. Hashtag Corgi on Fleek. A few vlogs ago we had our Finding Corgi segment and I thought we would reveal the answers. Just in case you weren't able to find a Corgi, here are the answers now. Number one. Okay, Number two. Number three. Number four. Okay, good dog. And finally, number five. Okay, good dog. Congratulations, Gatsby! You're such a good hider! Daka, 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 daka. And right now I'm getting ready to head off to the gym. I hit some legs yesterday, so it's upper body day today. See you guys there. <laughs> dinner today we're gonna be making a chirashi bowl. Chirashi is kind of like raw fish or sashimi over rice but we're gonna do it really special by making one out of ikura which is salmon roe on the top. It's gonna be so good. My friends in Hawaii were eating it and I was like I want it too and we're gonna make a side of gyoza pot stickers to go with it. Let's do it! I already bought some gyoza pot stickers over here. Preheat frying pan until warm. Carefully place 12 pieces of gyoza on heated pan. Slowly pour two ounces of water onto pan and cover. Heat on medium for about five minutes. Continue to heat until all the water has evaporated. Serve gyoza and enjoy. So chirashi bowls are usually made with sushi rice. Um, I don't really like sushi rice. I thought that I'm just gonna make it with regular white rice instead. We're gonna also add some radish shoots. We also have some shiso leaf, which I love a lot. We're just gonna roll it up. We also have the cucumber that we cut earlier. Along with that, we need to chop up the baked eggs, the omoretsu. If you haven't had it before, it's slightly sweet egg. Let's start off with adding some of the shiso leaf. Let's add some of the cucumber okay, and the egg. Then we add the shoots. And then we add the salmon roe, the ikura. So I'm gonna pour some soy sauce on the top. Time to eat! I'm so excited. <laughs> this looks so good. Okay, I'm gonna have some gyoza, the pot stickers first. We're gonna dip it in our soy sauce. Mmm! Nice and crispy. This is chicken and pork pot stickers. Okay, now let's try the chirashi bowl. For those of you who don't know what salmon roe is like, it's kind of like 
I would say like gushers. <laughs> you bite into it and it like gushes the like the fish oil out. I like it. I know some people who don't really like it too much, but it's delicious to me. Mmm, the cucumber adds like a little bit of a crunch to it. Overall, super good. Food today on point. I'm gonna finish this and I'll see you guys afterwards. We're going downstairs. Corgis are good when they're downstairs. You ready to go downstairs? Easy come, easy go, will you let me go? There's Nick. Hey! He looks clean shaven. What's going on? We can test Gatsby's herding skills. There's a cow. <laughs> You're gonna hurt him, right? You're gonna hurt the cow? It's dinner time for Gatsby. There you go. Okay. Good job. It's so shiny. doesn't even care. Gatsby, what are you doing with all your toys? Why do you have such a mess? Why did you take all your toys out? What are you doing? Hello, Gatsby. You wanna be my friend? I'm annoying you, Gatsby. Yeah! <laughs> I'm Woodstock. Ow! Ow! We have time for a little bit of mail. Look. Gatsby Pokemon! <laughs> Gatsby and Perla! Gatsby's licking my knee and listening to all the letters. Yeah? <laughs> Dear Gatsby and Ryan, my name is Liam and I live in Sacramento, California. I love the videos of you getting exercise. <laughs> Michelle from Meza, Arizona. That's so funny, we got like brushes for cooking. I hope there was plenty more Corgi cooking episodes in the future from Crystal. I think someone's watching me. Well, that's gonna do it for us on today's episode. Yes, we hope you enjoyed your tacos. Is my knee really delicious? And don't forget to check out CorgiOnFleek.com for all the new greeting cards. We'll see you guys in the next vlog. Good night! It's finally time to talk about my aquarium. Let's go. This is my 65 gallon saltwater Red Sea Max C250 Reef Aquarium. It's been running for over two years. And if you notice in the past few months, I haven't really been covering it too much just because the tank has not been doing very well. 